Guess what guys, another benchmark topping AI model has just been released. I know I'm getting sick of them too, but Quen3 Coder, an open source Chinese model, claims to have better benchmarks than Kimi K2 and is supposedly as good as Claude Toinette 4, the GOAT. So let's see if Quen can actually deliver on this hype. And before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna test Quen3 Coder, Kimi K2 and Claude Sonnet 4 using one coding project in Next.js app to automatically generate blog posts from YouTube videos. Even though Quen3 Coder has a fancy terminal UI, which is a fork of Gemini CLI, to make things fair, all three models will go through open code. Claude through the Pro subscription, Kimi K2 through the Moonshot console, and Quen3 Coder through Open Reader. For the test, I've created a simple Next.js starter app with a prompt file to create an app that writes blog posts from YouTube videos, which works by the user uploading three blog posts in Markdown for the AI to understand the writing style, the tone, and sentence structure, and then grab a transcript from the YouTube video using the YouTube API to create a blog post from. We'll start with Kimi K2, and I'll give it the instruction to read and execute the prompt file. And off it goes creating a plan, then creates a file to analyze the blog posts. It then creates a file to write the blog posts from the YouTube video, and then a file to display and download the finished blog post. And now it's finishing off by writing a readme, and the whole thing is complete in just under 10 minutes. And here is the final app from Kimi, with a section to upload blog posts and a section to add a YouTube URL. Let me add some blog posts that I've written before in Markdown, and immediately it's analyzing the writing style, which is very cool. And cool, the analysis is complete. So I'm going to find a video on YouTube and I'll take this 10 Chrome DevTools tricks from Bernard. Sorry, Bernard. We'll paste that here and we'll hit generate blog post. And now if I scroll to the bottom, we can see the final generated blog post in this gray that's difficult to read, but it looks like it's done it. Nice. And this is exactly how I'd say it. And as you'd know, this is what I say at the end of all of my videos. Next, we'll try the same prompt with Quen3 Coder, which it reads the files and then it starts going to work a lot quicker than Kimi K2. Wow, this is fast. It's written some requirements. It's installing dependencies. It's written the code to upload a file, the code to input a YouTube URL, and the code to display the generated blog post. And now it's finished creating the app in just over five minutes and cost almost 50 cents. And when we run the app, we get this issue because we're exposing API keys to the browser. Because this is just for testing purposes, I'm gonna manually update the code to use this. Now the app works and we get this nice layout with three dots that don't seem to do anything. Okay, first let's upload the blog posts and nothing seems to be happening. Looking at the code for the main page, it looks like the isLoadingState variable is not used. So let's add a prompt to tell Quen to fix this. And now it looks like it's fixed the issue. Let's test the app again by uploading three files and it looks like they've all been uploaded. So we're gonna grab a YouTube URL, paste it and generate our blog post and it looks like we have another issue. We'll check the console and we see that there's an issue getting the YouTube transcript. Now, at this point, I could go back and forth with Quen to try and fix the issue, but in my experience, this is the point where LLMs start to experience a downward spiral of debugging. And I don't really wanna waste your time with that. So let's move on. Finally, we're gonna run this prompt with Claude Sonnet 4, the GOAT, and see how it does. Okay, so it's created a plan. It set dependencies up using bun, which is exactly what I would have done. It's written the code for file upload and also to get a transcript from the YouTube URL. It's written a system and user prompt for GPT-4 to extract information from our blog posts. And it's written a prompt to generate the blog posts. Finally, it's updating the readme and the whole thing is done in just over three minutes. Now, if we run the app, this is what we get, which looks similar to the output from Quen3, but in dark mode. We'll upload these three blog posts and then enter a YouTube URL before hitting extract transcript. And we get an error that says transcript and at least three sample posts are required. It looks like the error happens because it's missing the transcript. So let's give Claude the information and ask it to fix that. And now let's fix the issue. Let's try again to create a transcript and it says there are no captions available for this video. Maybe it's having issues with the library it chose to extract YouTube transcripts. What happened? I would have thought Claude Sonnet 4 had this challenge in the bag, but you know what? It goes to show that benchmarks aren't everything. Yes, on paper, it should have been Claude, then Quen, then Kimi K2. I even tried to recreate the apps in Claude and Quen in a brand new session, but they both kept falling short. I have no idea why Claude hasn't figured out how to read a YouTube transcript. 
but it looks like every model can behave differently based on the environment, the project, the quality of the prompt, and many other factors. Regardless of these results, personally, I'm gonna continue using Communique 2 for smaller, less complex coding tasks, even though it's slower just because it's a lot cheaper. And I'll stick with Claude Sonnet 4 for more complicated tasks. But what do you think? Are you gonna give Quen 3 Coder a serious try? If you do, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy coding.